Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to go ahead and review a fragrance uh, that is from the house of Ferrari. The fragrance we're touching on today is called Leather Essence. Now, Leather Essence from the House of Ferrari uh, is a fragrance that has been on my radar for a while for a specific reason. We have a fellow member within the fragrance community, another reviewer, Chad, a gentleman's journey, who is the Ferrari, as far as I'm concerned, spokesman. Uh, and he brought it up as a really good fragrance. Uh, so I've always had it on my list to go ahead and review. I finally got through the review session and decided to go ahead and take the plunge. Uh, so. The design of the bottle is similar to the other Ferrari fragrances. The other, the main difference is it's kind of got this leather encasing that goes on the fragrance and it makes it kind of look pretty cool. It almost feels like a, uh, you know, that leather upholstery, if you will, on a car, presumably a Ferrari, that you would drive around. So pretty cool, nice design. I really like it. I really enjoy it. Uh, and it's there. So when we get into the actual scent itself, that's where we start getting pretty interesting there. Uh, when I first sprayed this fragrance on, I, get, I gotta say I was taken aback for two reasons. One, the fragrance smelled great, but the second reason was it, it, it did not come across like I think it would. When I think of leather essence, I'm thinking of a true leather scent or the essence of leather, if you will, and I wasn't getting that. What I was getting was a cinnamon, uh, vanilla, cloves. I'm getting like this spice rack type of a fragrance that is deep, it's enriching, but it's not leather. Stick around because after about 10 minutes, that's when you start to get more of the leather and the leather becomes more prominent and then it kind of like fits together uh, like a puzzle, if you will, and just smells absolutely fantastic it is just oh yeah so again it, once yeah it's put together fantastic which is uh, which is just great because as the fragrance kind of develops and it's you get that leather note in finally it, it becomes that complete fragrance if you will it is so soothing it is so enveloping it's almost like a it's a sweet leather if you will but not too sweet it's a sweet spicy leather and it's kind of almost the first of its kind that I've kind of come across. There are many fragrances that kind of do what it's doing, but not like it's doing. So, you know, also I forgot to mention one note. Tonka bean is also in this fragrance and it, it fits it perfectly. But that's, that sweetness with the leather, let me give you one comparison. So it kind of reminds me on one surface of Musque Lava Jour. On another surface, it reminds me of the Armani code line, hence the Tonga bean that's kind of coming in there. Uh, on another line, uh, it's, I forgot to mention the cinnamon as well from Muscat Avashore, but it's coming in with the cloves. Uh, it's just, uh, it kind of takes different portions from other scents. So if I was to just briefly sum it up, I would say this is a wearable Muscat Avashore. Muscat Avashore, I find I like it a lot better than this scent, but uh, if somebody was to say, hey, let's make this scent more wearable and more appealing to more people, this scent would be it. You can wear this lounging. It's a really nice approachable fragrance. Again, it's got that sweetness that draws people in. It's got that matureness of the ledger of the leather uh, and absolutely is fantastic. So I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go ahead and give this fragrance a rating, I'm gonna give this fragrance a rating four and a half out of five stars. Almost a perfect five stars. And the reason being is this, this scent up and down is an excellent value. It's gonna last a good long time on your skin. It's gonna have good projection. It's inexpensive, smells great. The only reason that I did not give it five stars is because sometimes when I wore it, it gave me a headache. Uh, and any fragrance that does that, I'm sorry, I can't give it a perfect five stars, but it's pretty damn close. And I, cause I think, I think it might be more just me than it is you, cause it's so rich, uh, that, you know, where, you know, spraying it specifically, you know, on the heavier side, if you will, uh, you probably, or you might, I should I say, get this feeling of, you know, just overwhelming your senses, if you will, and kind of giving you a headache. And that's what it did to me. Uh, but that problem is solved if you sprayed in moderation, you know, one or two sprays here or there, uh, and you'll be good to go. It's going to last all day. It's going to have people, you know, smelling you and you're going to have project a great ambiance. All right. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on leather essence. Um, always curious, been out for a while, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Take care of yourselves and you guys have a great day. <clears throat>